is kind of a cool one. It is a full face foundation, concealer, highlight, contour, blush, bronzer, routine situation using only airbrush makeup. I am using the Aeroblend airbrush foundation system today. I've been loving it so much. It's on the more affordable end, which is perfect for me. Um, it's very compact, it's portable. They have a nice wide range of foundation shades with different undertones, which is really nice, plus a lot of different blush colors for those of you with different preferences, so I think that's amazing. So today I'm gonna share with you the routine that I perfected myself at home. I can do this in anywhere from five to 10 minutes, um, and I think a lot of you guys are going to really enjoy it. So if you would like to see how I created this flawless airbrush base please keep watching okay so the system is plugged in and all you do to start it is on this little compressor you press the on switch can you hear the noise on camera hmm? So what I do to start is I choose a foundation that matches my skin tone at that time. Right now I have a little bit of a sunless tan my lighting kind of watches me out but I currently match about an 035 I believe We'll see. Um, in the Aeroblend foundations, they do have two different undertones, either neutral or olive, and I'm using olive, hence the O. So all you do is you take the little airbrush gun and you use um, the foundation and just fill the cup, not fill. I usually do about 10 drops, so I like a little bit more coverage. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna hold this about six inches, is this six inches away? And start making circular motions. And you'll start to see some of the redness being covered up, but it looks really light and natural on the skin. I'll see if I can just do the one half for now so you guys can get a little bit of an idea. I really love airbrush foundations because this is so fast, you guys. This takes me like no time at all, and it lasts a really long time, and it just looks so nice and natural, but I ran out, so apparently I need like 20 drops. <laughs> so I have one half of my face done this side, so you can see the coverage is really nice so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up. And I'm just kind of leaving um, my under eye area Kind of blank I'm not really worrying about covering up, up anything there because I am going to use a lighter shade kind of like a concealer almost um, if you do have kind of under eye circles and things that you need to conceal that usually require more than a foundation um, you can go ahead and do some sort of color correcting um, I have a video all on color correcting that you guys are welcome to watch but you can definitely use whatever products that you already own that you prefer and now to act as like a highlight slash concealer, where I normally highlight with concealer, I'm gonna use the shade N20, which is more of like a neutral undertone. And I'm gonna use about, I don't know, 10 drops maybe? And make sure you shake these up, you guys. They do separate pretty quickly. So every time you use them, you're gonna wanna shake them up pretty vigorously. And all I'm going to do is kind of use circular motions in these zones where I normally highlight to just brighten up the under eye area. So you can see it's really fast. It doesn't add a lot of extra, you know, layers and weight to your look. It's still gonna look really nice and skin-like. I'm gonna do the top of my lip a little bit. Some on my chin. Okay, so I'm back. I just went off camera to finish my eye makeup and my lower lash line. So now I'm using the shade 050, Olive 50. It's like the darkest one that I have. And I'm going to kind of bronze and contour with this. So same thing, I did about 10 drops and I'm just going to kind of lightly go in my contour zones, like under and on my cheekbones. Looking good. I'm also gonna kinda do my jawline because you know how I feel about all of my chins. So we are done with our contour. Yes. So now for blush, I'm going to use the shade Singles Cruise. It's like a really kinda pretty warm pink. I'm just gonna do about six drops. That should be more than enough. And I'm just going to kinda start at the apples of my cheeks and work my way backwards. The 
This color is pretty. It really makes you look kind of sun-kissed. Gives you kind of that nice warm pink look like what my skin naturally does when I'm out in the sun. Like pre-sunburn. And now I'm going to be using their highlighter. It's called Champagne Toast. I am going to kind of hit the tops of my cheekbones with this. You can see that. And right on the tip of my nose. Cute! <laughs> All right guys, so there you have it. I really like the outcome. I've really been liking this lately and I've been really loving playing around with airbrush makeup. I know a lot of you have asked me about it in the past and still continue to do so. And I had so many snaps and screenshots when I shared this system with you guys on Snapchat. So I hope you're as excited as I am. I will have everything linked down below in the description bar for those of you who would like to shop. And I will also list all of the shades once again that I specifically used in this tutorial for those of you who are curious. So thank you again so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber already. I love you so much you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!